Hey guys, my name is Melissa and today I'm going to quickly show you how to make an on off switch like you see here or it's also called a T flip flop. So as you can see, yeah, so I'm going to try to show you how to build the design as fast as I can. Let me go to pistons and let me get my timer and go. Okay, here and then you want to put a diamond block, a torch underneath it, uh, two blocks up here, a uh, redstone on top, this torch there torch there and then I'm technically done that took me 12 seconds but let me just quickly add an input so that that's the switch you press and then an output and then something to show you that it's working and that was 20 seconds sweet so let's see if this works and see if it actually counts yep and yes so this isn't my design but I thought I'd share it with all of you it's pretty well known but I still wanted to let more of you know because uh, there's never Okay, so it's a pretty well-known design, but I thought I'd let a few more of you know out there. Um, it's called a T flip flop, as I said, but I, I'm just going to call it an on-off switch. So what happens is, let's press it, come on. It turns the torches off. And because this one is extended, and this one's already contracted, this one doesn't do anything. But this one has to take the time to go back, while well, this one extends, if that makes sense. I think it does. And then if once we press it, this block will be above the redstone torch you see here. Oops, that's not good. It'll be, uh, the block is above the redstone torch that you see. And then it, the redstone torch sends a uh, power to this block. And then the block transmits the energy out. Like that. So it's awesome. I, I use this design a lot in my nation at Let's Play World. Um, so you guys can go check out that series too. Um, let's see. So there's, you can, you can, it's pretty flexible too. Like you can make the input come from here. Like, if I just put a button here, it works. You can make it come from the same side that you want the output to be. So, we, we, could, we could even do this. Look. Okay, you can make the output come from many different directions. In fact, this one is kind of unique because it, the output and the input are right beside each other. So, when I press this button, you know, it turns off. But this turns on instantly, pretty much. So there is a flicker, as you can see. But because this, this button powers the lamp for long enough for this thing to kick in, it's pretty cool to have it right here. So if you have a house or something and you want to make it go like this, it's, it's really easy just to do an on off switch in your house. You can also have the input come from here. Um, yeah, you can make the input come from any direction and the output come from any direction. No, well, the output can either come from here or here. Okay, so that is how you make an on-off switch or a T flip flop, whatever you want to call it in Minecraft. If you have any questions or I didn't explain something clear enough, please leave it in the comment section below. If this did help you, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I do make Minecraft videos almost every single day. And I got an FTB Let's Play, a single player Let's Play, and a lot of tutorials and minigames coming your way. So go check out my channel. Have an awesome day and see you guys later. Bye! So let's go come up people. Did he have a compass? No, he did not have a compass. Let's go come people. Can we do it? Let's see. Oh no! It's a diamond armor zombie! It's a diamond armor zombie! Um... Is this... Is this heard of? Uh... Oh no. Maybe, sh maybe I should... Maybe I should save him. Maybe I... Yes. Maybe I